And the most high powered thing I do is. Probably like get asked specifically what sort of food I want to eat and then have it made for me. Like I'm not gluten free, but if I say I'm gluten free, I will have a whole gluten free meal prepared for me. That feels pretty damn high powered to me. So I try not to abuse this power. I try to only use it for good. If I could have any career do over, it would be, okay, so I- uh... You wouldn't have made The Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> right. I know, we're all <laughs> thinking it, Bob. <laughs> I'm very lucky in my life. Career-wise, everything, so any lumps I took, I either deserved or you have to take them sometime along the way. My favorite De Niro line is, people have been asking me this since it was announced that we were going to work together, and I'm just gonna say all of them. I'm gonna just totally lame out on that one and not embarrass you by doing an impersonation of you. There's one in Raising Bull that I, I laugh at, the scene with my, uh, why not? Not the um, Vicky character, but the first one defeats its own purpose. Don't overcook it. Overcook it's no good. It defeats its own purpose. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, that was my answer. The next time I lip sync, it will be to. <laughs> You know what? I don't think I'm ever gonna lip sync again. It went very, very well with Wrecking Ball, and I'm very happy with that. Yeah, for and Bob, one for thing you. I wouldn't do for Martin Scorsese is I do a lot for Marty, so I can't even think of what I wouldn't do for him. So. <laughs> You are like a Jedi <laughs> at not answering I'm questions. Sure. Hey, listen. <laughs> uh, well, go see the intern and we hope you like it. Oh.